Raiders, thank you so much for what a great game to start this tournament out. Terrence, why don't you take a few minutes and talk about the game. Seemed to be pretty comfortable in the first half, then oh my. Um, first, I just want to uh, you know, give, uh, uh, give Cal State and Dominguez Hill some credit. Um, they played really well. The coach had them prepared. Um, it was a dog fight all the way to the end. But um, uh, we were able to go to a good start. You know, but we're at a stage where we know teams are good enough to come back. So at halftime, I told the team, um, listen, this guy, this, we still got 20 minutes left, and this team is going to fight. And they didn't make it this far to lay down. So we have to make sure that we stay engaged into the game and not get comfortable. And, uh, you know, they, they fought. You have to give them credit. They fought back and made it a game. And, um, you know, we had to figure out a way to get to the finish line, and we did. I'm proud of the team. Yeah. Uh, what do you think was was kind of the turning point in that second half? You guys came out a little cold. Um, points were a little difficult to come by. But what do you think? What do you think the turning point was? Um, honestly, I don't I don't know if it was a turning point. In a sense, uh, we just had to battle all the way to the clock said zero. Right. Um, you know, we were tired. Uh, some of my lyric, I know, Janaya, Sarah, they played big minutes, and I could tell that they were gassed, but I, I couldn't take them out. Right. You know, so it was a situation where we just had, I told them, just dig deep. You know, yeah. we could worry about being tired uh, later on, but right now, we have to find a way to finish this game. So, um, I just think we fought all the way to the clock says zero. Okay. Jake, anybody else have any questions you'd like to ask? Um, so you, I don't think you guys missed a free throw until, like, sort of early in the fourth quarter. Uh, what does that say about your team's preparedness, uh, knowing that, you know, you're going to have to score a lot of points from that uh, the free throw strike? We did, we did a, we've done a good job all year long, kind of in free throws. Uh, probably one of our better years in my time here shooting free throws. So um, I have the most confidence in them going to the line and knocking shots down. Um, it's probably a little more impressive to make them as tired as we were. But, um, you know, I have great leadership, great seniors, and uh, they stepped up and got it done. Uh, for Lyric, that was a constant pressure in the full court, um, having to handle that. Um, you know, what, what sort of problems did they uh, may have caused for you, you know, getting the ball to the floor, or uh, you know, how tough were they as far as giving pressure? Um, they had pressure. Um, they had three people coming at us at one point because two wasn't working. So we um, we just knew that we had to protect the ball as much as possible. We knew they were a tough team. They were an active team. So we just wanted to make sure that we didn't make any cross court passes that would be too risky or anything that would turn the ball over when we needed the ball in our hands. Sarah, how did you handle it? Uh, a lot of times they tried to pound it inside uh, a little bit to number 23, and uh, you guys were pretty stout inside defensive-wise. Um, I think a lot of it, we've played a lot of girls bigger than us. We're pretty undersized compared to every other team. Um, so we've had a lot of practice with that throughout the season. Um, and also our guards helped us out a lot. We focused a lot on staying in the paint and them digging anytime they did get in touch, making sure that we had help there. We never want to leave anybody behind them, so I think they did a good job of that too. Yeah. Um, Terrence, I think you're, you, you guys have a, a lot of team quickness, a lot of team speed, and I think that was on display at times, correct? Yes. yes. Uh, that's been one of our strong points. You know, we want to play fast, we want to play up tempo, so we want to get out and run, and we felt like that would be an advantage. Um, for us coming into the game, especially the way they play defense, you know, they, they're they very active and they cause trouble for you that 2-2-1, two, two, they drop back to like a 2-3 zone, they switch everything, but we felt like if we could beat them, it was going to have some opportunities that we right. could make them pay, but uh, I wasn't able to sub as much as I wanted to and it kind of caught up with me, but we was able to finish, um, but we have a pretty good team. Yeah, at the end of the game, you, you had, I mean, you were subbing, you know, two players out and that was about it. Um, and um, you guys had, I mean, you guys had to be winded at the end of the game. It was an up and down, hard fought game, correct? Yeah, it was definitely an up and down game. And, um, we, we, I think we prepared for it. We spent a lot of time uh, in our system being tired when we play. I, I always <laughs> talk to him about that. Like, this is not a system where uh, you're going to feel fresh when you're playing. We're pressing on the defensive yep. side, and we're pushing the ball on the offensive side. So uh, you have to get comfortable feeling tired, and uh, I think that helps us in this game. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? Yeah, go Brandon, ahead. Brandon Beal from the News Tribune in Duluth, Minnesota. Um, what
facets of your team's game are you hoping to improve upon uh, for the semifinals, regardless of who you end up playing? Well, take better care of the basketball. You know, we, we know we can't um, turn the ball over, especially in those uh, clutch moments at the end of the game. So I just think uh, we want to do better with that, taking care of the basketball, and um, uh, re probably defensive rebound when we need to tighten up a little bit. Any, any follow up? I'm, I'm good. Okay. All right. Anybody else? All righty. Coach, that was a war. Um, you guys survived. Thank you. And uh, I guess we're going to see you on Wednesday then, huh? Wednesday it is. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.